Oh hi folks and welcome to Art Tips with John. I am your host John Morris and in this show you will learn how to build your artistic talents and also your artist business as well. Okay folks, well today's show is going to be a short one because it's fairly, fairly simple um, how to answer this question, but it's a question that we get asked all the time like so many others as well and it's John how do you know when a painting is finished? And I tend to gauge it by three different things personally, okay? The first one is usually, this isn't in the list, but you usually get a, a feel one way or another when a painting is finished. And you kind of adapt that into number one, have you gone as far with this painting as you can go before you start saying, is there anything else I can add in there? Is there anything else that would work? When you're starting to question yourself like that, you would sometimes add a thing into a painting for the sake of adding it into a painting. And then eventually what happens, and I've seen it so many times with students, is they come away and it's like, I really wish I hadn't added that in So there. that is something to be aware of, folks. Okay, don't continue going and going and going to the point that you're like, uh, I'm just adding it in now for adding it in sake. Number two, the, I suppose the way that I know when a painting is finished is when I'm ready to sign it. Okay, I never sign a painting until I'm pretty much done. Now there are some exceptions, of course, where you sign it, you leave it for a day or two, which I'll get onto in a second, and then you come back and you're like, gosh, I really wish that I'd, you know, added more to it. Or I come back and I add more to an artwork. The other thing that you gotta remember is, you're finishing it with the skill set you have now, presently, as you are. You're not finishing it with the skill set that you have 20 years from now, okay? So you may finish a piece of art and 10 years later come back and think, gosh, if I repainted that now, I would be able to add so much more into that. And I've done that, okay? I do that frequently with artworks and, and for other shows as well, um, because it helps really develop, I suppose, an art piece, a painting and everything else. But at that time you finish it, you add your signature to it, and then that means that is basically your stamp of saying, I'm ready to walk away from this now. Another way that you know when you are finished with a painting is for example, like the one I've got behind me, is you kind of sit there or sit the painting there and leave it for a while, okay? Now there are some paintings, as I said, you know, in the, in the past point that you, you're doing and finishing with a certain skill set. Um, there are other times that I sit there with a painting and it's up on the wall and I deliberately place them around the house and things and I think, is there anything else I can add to that? I, I will look at it time and time again and like with this one, not many people would notice it, but I would want to change this wave slightly and it's only a fraction of a change just to make it look absolutely spot on as much as it possibly can be. Um, so what I advise you to do is sit your paintings or your artwork around your home and then actually just keep looking at them from time to time because you look at them with fresh eyes and the amount of times that you wake up and you think, gosh, that's what I need to change. Boom, there you go and you're off and running and it really, really helps. So that's what I, I, I would advise you to do is just to sit your paintings and your artwork around in a place that you're going to see them, maybe in a kitchen where you're going to walk in, you're going to look at them and think, oh, that's what I want to change. Or Gosh, that's good. And it's okay to say, gosh, pat pat, that it's good. I encourage you, if you've done a piece of artwork that you absolutely love, give yourself a pat on the back because it's one of the biggest things to encourage you that I can do through a, a telephoto lens. Because we all need that encouragement. And I'm here encouraging you today because it's amazing how many art students are so down on themselves. They don't like their artwork. They don't like themselves because nobody's ever encouraged them. Well, I'm encouraging you here and now. If you want to get in touch and you want me to have a look at your artwork, Drop, uh, drop a, a message in the box below and just say, John, you know, I would love you. you know, get in touch with me on Instagram, fire a message at John Morris Art From The Heart. You can get in touch with me in a million different ways, probably not, but close enough. Um, and I'd be happy to take a look at your artwork and try and critique as many as I can, just to say, right, this is what's really good about this artwork. This is what I would change about it, okay? Now, what I see and what you see are two vastly different things, and there is no right and wrong, okay? So I want you to feel encouraged, and I want you to really enjoy doing your artwork, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Some of us, yes, do it as a business and make a living from it. Some of us make a brilliant living from it, and some of us are crackers, and they end up, you know, either with face paint on or doing shows like this to help artists just like you.
So I hope this show has encouraged you. I hope it's answered that question for you. You know, how do you know when your artwork's finished? Um, and as always, if you've got any questions for me or any comments, please drop them in the box below. Until next time, I have been your host, John Morris. Have an awesome week and I will see you next Tuesday. Take care, God bless. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and anything I can do to help, I'll be here. Have an awesome week, guys. Take care.